My name is Mubarak Adam. Um, I'm Sahada Bakman. Okay. Uh, this is how we are preparing to break our fast. That's iftar. Um, we are newly wedded, and this our first Ramadan into our marriage. Okay, so what I have here is um, warm water with blended ginger with some cloves. Then I'll add some lemon to it and honey to prepare, to prepare something small like a ginger tea or something to break our fast. Something warm as recommended medically. And as you can see, I have some lettuce, some vegetables here. I'll be preparing salad later on too. Mm -hmm. And later we have um, some watermelon and bananas here. We later prepare some smoothie that we will take later in the evening. Mm -hmm. So basically that's what we breaking our first. Mubarak Adam and Sahara Bachman are just one month into their marriage and the experience of Ramadan at the beginning of their marriage is the perfect opportunity to forge bonds. experience is, is wonderful since this is our first experience with Ramadan house in marriage. Previously, it's, it's, it doesn't go like this. You don't get the chance to be asked what will you eat for iftar. You just go home, whatever you get, then you used to break your fast. But as you can see, this is something I asked for and inshallah I'm being provided with it. So it's it's, it's wonderful. Well, alhamdulillah, is, it has been cool. It has been okay by God's grace. And it's not really hectic as compared to uh, when I was at my home, back home. Because this year I was preparing for two people and it's not that hectic. So Alhamdulillah, it's been okay. Thank you. The affairs Ramadan is undoubtedly a rewarding experience for those who think Ramadan means no romance. What would be more romantic than waking up together for Sahul? Going on well. And at first, when I was at my home, when I'm waking up at dawn, I'll be reluctant or I'll feel reluctant or hesitant to wake up. But here, I know I have something to do. I have a responsibility. I have to put something on the table for my husband. I have to put something for my husband and I. So I wouldn't feel reluctant. I will have to wake up and find something for my husband to eat. And along the lights, okay, it's good. We've been praying together at dawn always anytime we start to we always pray together and i think it's such a nice experience they say ramadan is a good time to create new habits either by waking up early or praying together they build ties that will last forever but how did it feel a week before their marriage so i was actually looking forward to that day and i was a bit nervous to be honest and as well as I was happy as well. So it was kind of nervous. Um, <laughs> you know, you not uh, having knowledge of the unseen. You don't know what awaits you in the in your my my. Barak feels he was lucky enough to meet his supportive wife before Ramadan. The spirit of marriage and fasting makes them feel good. I would like to thank him very much for everything, for everything I shared. I want you, to, I want you to continue doing the good works you've been doing and helping me gain rewards, waking me up um, at dawn to perform the nafil prayers, reciting the Quran together, encouraging me to recite the Quran. And always helping me in the kitchen and household chores too. I really thank you so much and may Allah bless you abundantly. <laughs> I want to I want her to continue with how she has been treating me so far. She provided me with whatever I want to eat and <laughs> Encouraging me to wake up for the hundred prayers, 
recite the Quran after Fajr. Marriage is a new chapter in life. Mubarak and Sahada believe every man and woman should pass this beautiful stage of marriage. What I want to tell brothers out there who are not yet married is that if only they are capable of getting married, they should go ahead and find somebody as beautiful as my wife <laughs> who is very caring and just settle down with the person. As we know in, in Islam, we know that if you get married, you fulfill half of your dream. So I think they should get married if only they are capable of doing so. Okay, so what I would like to say to the ladies out there is if you know you have you have someone and the person is and the person wants to marry you and you think the person is okay, you think he's the right person for you. And you shouldn't say you are not ready yet or you are too young for marriage or you are not mentally ready or psychologically ready or something. You have to psych your mind. As a lady, yeah. As a lady, you will definitely get married and it's a good thing. Marriage is a good thing. So I would advise each and every lady out there to get married as soon as possible if they find the right person. And Allah will help them, inshallah. Ramadan is a time when Muslims across the world celebrate, reflect on the purpose of life, and draw closer to Allah. For Mubarak and Sahada, this year's Ramadan is very special because they are not single but wife and husband. A report by Mohammed Nuruddin.